India News 24 hour New Delhi failure of key department of telecom. Officials during 200,708 to clearly record dissent on file and take a clear stand in court despite puzzling changes in 2G policy emerged as major reasons why serious charges of irregularities against former telecom minister A. Raja did not stick. The 2G judge L.P. Saini termed these witnesses evasive, mischievous, irresponsible and said they tried to disown official record. In the main CBI case involving DMK leaders A. Raja and Kanamazi and officials and corporate heads, the court held depositions of senior officers of DOT and key prosecution witnesses were contrary to the record and they seemed to be passing the buck. However, the court held Raja's statements matched with the official record and appeared to be cogent, truthful and as such acceptable. On the other hand, the court compared the official's testimony of being pressured or given oral instructions with the written record. Judge Saini found little in official records or notes prepared by officials like A.K. Srivastrava, Asir Vathamakri, D.S. Mothar to back their allegations during trial that they acted at behest of Raja and his PSRK Chandolia. For instance, the CBI had alleged on the basis of Akari's claim that Shahid Balwa, Banad Goenka and Sanjay Chandra used to meet A. Raja and were familiar with each other from the time Raja was environment minister. Akari deposed that he saw Balwa and Goenka visiting Raja's office more than 20 times. The court then called for the entry register of Sanjay Bawin. It found the prosecution couldn't show even a single appointment chart or a visitor's register in which the visit meeting of the three accused with the minister was shown. Cut-off date The CBI had alleged it was Raja who brought in the idea of a cut-off date in conspiracy with other accused to benefit the private companies. The court examined a note prepared by Srivastava at that time which revealed that the proposal was put up by him on his own initiative and understanding of the situation. While Srivastava claimed he was orally ordered by R.K. Chandolia to propose the idea of fixing a cut-off date, the court found no written evidence though it did not consider whether such defiance was possible. In a sense, Srivastava has tried to disown entire official record in the preparation of which he himself was an important participant and had also signed the same. The end result is that his testimony is not good enough to be relied upon. His evidence deserves to be discarded in toto, the court opined. FIRSTCOMEFIRSTSERV The CBI had relied upon statements of Srivastrava, Mathur, K. Sridhar and other DOT officials to allege that Raja tweaked the FCFS policy as part of a conspiracy. But the court found no evidence in the official files. Again, a note prepared by Srivastava revealed to the court that the idea of alteration in the first-come first-served policy didnt come from Raja, but from the officials. The prosecution is needlessly trying to twist the policy by making a two-stage multi-stage process into a single stage one. The idea of alteration in the first come first served policy was not coming from Raja, but from the officials of the department, the court said though it was not explained why they should do so on their own. Eligibility of Unitech companies and Swan Telecom CBI had alleged that at the time of application for obtaining Spectrum, the Shahid Balwa and Vinod Goenka promoted Swan Telecom Private Limited was an associate of Reliance ADAG and had no business history. The court, after scrutinizing dot files and taking on record testimony of the private executives of these companies, found no evidence on record to show that on the date of filing of applications STPL belonged to Reliance Ada Group. Besides, the it was also alleged that Unitech was an ineligible company for applying for licenses as its core business was in real estate. But the company produced evidence of a board meeting where it altered the object clause to make provision for compliance with the license agreement to be signed with DOT. Lack of clear guidelines The 2G court held DOT officials responsible for the confusion and chaos created during Raha's tenure, instead of the private players who were accused by the CBI of bending rules. In Judge Saini's view, lack of clarity in the policies as well as spectrum allocation guidelines contributed to the confusion. When the officers of the department themselves do not understand the departmental guidelines and their glossary, how can they blame company Southers for violation of the same, it said. There is no material on record to show that Raja was mother load of conspiracy in the instant case. There is also no evidence of his no-holds-barred immersion in any wrongdoing, conspiracy or corruption, the court noted.